Okay. Well, I've committed. I think this is the best we can do. I'm going to commit as well, and I thought about going to Japan, but I mean, even if I went to Japan, yeah. he could defend that. So, all right, let's watch. Okay, watching. He did deploy everything in Heilongjiang. You better get first move. No, I didn't. Ah, oh. dang it. He used an order priority card. They did have an order priority card. Oh, wow. Oh. You've got to be kidding me. One beats one. Wow. Okay, well, that's game over. We can't stop him from expanding now. Uh, that is ridiculous. That is so ridiculous. One took a one. You have got to be kidding me. My one, look, that was actually extremely ridiculously lucky because my one didn't kill his one. Wow. My one should have killed his, and then he uh, should have not taken me because he wouldn't have even had one. Yeah. Let's see. There's a 60% chance I'll kill one. And then there's, so there's a 40% chance that his one would survive. The chances of a one taking a one are already 18%. So 18% times 40%. That's the chance that this would work out for. That's about eight or so. Seven yeah, or eight. Less than that. About a 7% chance. Okay, well. That is pretty freaking ridiculous. I, I am, come on. Game, seriously? Seriously? Seriously. <sighs> All right, that that I I just don't even know what to say. That's ridiculous. Hmm. <sighs> well, it's how it's how the cookie crumbled. <laughs> yeah, we can't hmm. stop him from expanding now in West uh, West China. Well, in two turns he'll have West China. Mm-hmm. And then. After that, he'd expand so fast, extremely fast. He'd come through Alaska. Although, hmm, he would be able to do that. Greenland, should we really call it already? Hmm, because you do have more income than Clifford does, right? Yeah, he deployed all six to Sudan. We, yeah. You have more income than Clifford does. Um, see, we do have some good bonuses over here in West Canada and Greenland. If he came through Alaska, that would be game. But as long as he doesn't do that, it might not actually be over quite yet. It is in really bad shape, though. Hmm. No, no, he'll eliminate you from Egypt this turn. No, not this turn. Will he? They'll both hit you if with everything. If both of them hit me with everything, it's a possibility. 19. You, you'd have 19 defending. They would attack with a total of 21 plus 8, 29. Uh, 19, 29 guys. Uh, no, that wouldn't take you, but that would just about kill you. Okay, well, if I had 19 there, Clifford would attack with 21. Yeah. He would kill about 12. Mm -hmm. So I'd have 7. Yeah, you're right. I would survive. But barely. Yeah. I would only have, like, two guys left. Yeah. Not really much of a point. I don't. I don't see how we could come back from this just because he's got that stack in West China now and he can basically just deploy. He doesn't need to deploy anything over there to take the bonus. Well, that would take him three turns then because his no. stack is still in Heilongjiang. No, it's an inter... Oh, yeah, you're right. He did get repelled with his stack. You are correct. But would that be enough? <laughs> wow. I don't... I'm not sure... See, I, I was actually thinking, well, 
he did get a first move in it, but and because he used an order priority, and his one shouldn't have taken me. If his one hadn't have taken me, I think we would have had, I, I would have had a 50% shot at getting out of there, wherever I went. Although he could have tried deploying guys in both locations and defending, I think. Yeah. Oh well. Yeah, an order priority call it? card. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure because I don't I don't really see what we could do from here. Okay. Well then, I'm not really happy about that. Yeah, neither am I. Uh, or one oh well. One buddy, come on, seriously. Seven percent chance, and we lose on it. Okay. Hmm. Uh, but it was a good game because they did make some pretty good moves. So. Yeah. GG. Yep. GG. All right. Well, come back and. Do a review after this, I guess. Uh, for this turn, we'll just do random crap. I will attack Spain. Yeah. That is pretty crazy. I gotta say, <laughs> I just yeah. I was not expecting that. I was thinking, I I was I was ready to go. I was like, all right, well, I'll just play some guys and try and move out somewhere. And then the one takes me, and I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, well. Nothing we can do about it now. That is the end of Road to Redemption. We are out of the tournament. No. But it was fun while it lasted. Heavy Earth 2v2. Indeed. Our first time trying this template, and I think we did pretty good. Yep. It was pretty cool stuff. So we will review the game once they accept our surrenders. Indeed. And turn has, or our surrenders have been accepted. Yeah, yeah. that happened. Uh huh. Unfortunately. So oh, let's well. go over the history. We can see yeah. the board here. Yeah, well, I'm just going to skip to end because we already watched the final turn. All okay. right. So, yeah, we can see the final board here. Casey yep. eliminated from uh, Asia, Northeast Asia. So, yeah, no point in. Staying in the game. We yeah, scored. and I didn't have a counter to prevent West Africa. Yeah. Yeah, let's go back in the history. Yeah, to the beginning. We can see your picks here. Clifford went 1-2 in East Africa. West Africa obviously going for the East Africa combo. Mm-hmm. Uh, guaranteeing a spot down there pretty much. Not guaranteeing, but making it very likely. And then 3-4 in uh, East U.S. and East Canada. Mm -hmm. And then we have Conquistadors going for the combo in Anadir in Eastern Siberia. Yep, which we should have assumed, but oh well. And then a three in North Africa to help out his teammate in Africa. Yep, I like that. And a four East U.S., five in East Europe. All right, well. So he got his one, two, three. Going to turn one. Yeah, he got one, two, three. Clifford got one, two, and whatever and Scandinavia six. was. Six, okay. Yeah, one, two, so six. So he knew about Novo. Eastern Great Lakes and Quebec. And Novo. And Novo. Yep. I feel uh -huh. like if we had made our picks differently, if we had planned on, instead of going for Anadir, going for, like, Kaparovsk, I mean, Krasnodarsk, then we would have been much better. Yeah, I mean... We he went for the combo, which other over there. we put our number four as Anadir and expected to get that, even with the combo for East Russia being here. Yeah, that was not the... What we were hoping for was to get two locations d with that each of us controlled differently, where basically two of us were in each area. Both of us were in each area. Yeah. In East Asia or Eurasia, whatever. Uh, then in North America and in Africa. We wanted that to happen, and we... Anadir was way too likely. That mm -hmm. combo in East Russia is way too likely to be gone for 1-2. So I don't really agree with our 
pick over there, number four, Anadir. If it was Krasnodarsk, I would like that better. Yeah, if it was Krasnodarsk, then we would have both. That would have been very. That would have been a lot better, definitely. Because oh, yeah. I would have gotten that. Then you would have. Well, no, I would have gotten the next one as well. So I would have had. I couldn't have gotten Congo, so I would have had Brazil. Mm hmm. And then you would try to get Libya, would you would but would fail, and then get Krasnovo. Yep. So basically, you'd be in Brazil, I'd be in Novo. And then um, I'd have Krasnodar help out in uh, Liberia. However, that would give Clifford uh, Eastern, Great, Eastern Lakes. Great Lakes instead of Scandinavia. So your Greenland would have been safe. Although but I would have had to fight slow. around East Canada. That would have totally changed the game. <laughs> yeah, that would have changed things quite a bit. It would have been much more even, I think. Oh, very and Actually, even there game. was even... No, oh, never mind. It would have gone the same way. Than that. If I was in Novo, you were in Brazil and Quebec and Krasnodar. So you could have taken Cyan Mountains relatively easily. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't really... I don't really agree with our decision or my decision, I'm not sure who made it, I don't remember, not to attack Kabarovsk first turn. I don't know why I didn't attack We there. wanted you to get the first, the two-turn East U.S. before fighting. Yeah, but that, here's the thing, that, that doesn't make any sense. East-Russia combo is way too likely. Yeah. It doesn't yeah. really make sense to try and go for your bonus in East U.S. if you can prevent Kabarovsk and you can prevent East Russia from being taken. Mm -hmm. If I could do that, then I would. We would have had a major advantage right off the start. Honestly, I don't. Conquistadors wouldn't be able to really do anything. He wouldn't have been able to help out his teammate in Africa because he would have been fighting me so hard in East Russia because both he has two picks over there. Yeah, and he probably would have tried to get uh, North Africa after turn two or so. But you would come in through Nigeria, so that yeah. wasn't really a possibility. He plus he'd he'd be putting way too many guys to fight against me in East Russia. Uh, meanwhile, I've got a safe bonus, and well, I wouldn't have a safe bonus in the other circumstance. But in this circumstance, you would I have, have safe Novo. bonus yeah. in East US. Yeah, you would have been able to get Novo, and actually, in that case, if that had happened and you had Novo, you wouldn't have needed to deploy as much there to get it. So you could have hit, definitely hit Kabarov's first move. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I I don't understand why I place so much importance in taking Tennessee and making sure I got East U.S. because it's obvious someone would the East com, East Russia combo is something you have to assume. I think anyway. If you don't assume he has it, then it it's way too likely that what could happen would end up happening. Where he gets in a position taking Kabarovsk from eastern Siberia and he, I'll never get it. Yeah. Or I'm much less likely to get it. I actually had a few opportunities in the game, but I think those were honestly mistakes from conquistadors that gave me those opportunities. But Okay. Well, moving along through the game and so since you did not hit Kabaros first move, you obviously went for East US in two turns and got it. Mm -hmm. Thanks to some teamwork. Yeah. For Pacific Northeast. Yeah. And then I had East Antarctica. And then we've got Clifford getting East Africa as Conquistadors gets East Russia. Mm -hmm. Turn four, I move into Chad. And why was it that you went to UK? Oh, because I was going to go into uh, Africa and try to support you over okay. there. Yeah, that was it. And then he, uh, that was when you started getting pushed back significantly in Northeast Asia. He got Cheetah, you were left in Inner Mongolia. You pretty much had to go to Heilongjiang at that point, which probably was a mistake. You probably should have just gone to Mongolia and gone the long way around. Well, I think that would have been better. On turn four? Well... Turn four, you just sat there and took it, but the next turn, we tried. To, we had to escape because you were down in income. 
I mean, armies, not income. Oh, I see what you're saying. Turn five, yeah. And we went to Heilong Jing so that we would keep a border with... Uh, yeah, I disagree East. with that move, too. Yeah, East Siberia or East Russia. So, I mean, it's just Heilong Jing limits you so much because of the wasteland in Beijing. Yeah, well... Mongolia was more open. True. I, I just don't really agree. The biggest issue for me there is that I'm keeping myself next to his income in Kabarovsk, no matter what he does. I mean, I'm not sure. I don't understand. I think Inter -Mong uh, Mongolia would have been a better move, yeah. But regardless, honestly, we were at a major disadvantage at that point. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, honestly, if you had gone to Mongolia at that point, and then gone up to Irkutsk or even back to Chita, depending, then the position that I was in at the end of turn six or at the beginning of turn seven in Africa was not that bad. No, you were in a good spot, except was, that Clifford had the income from Scandinavia, yeah. so even if you broke into Eastern East Africa, he'd still be okay. He'd still have equal income with me. Yeah. What did he do on turn 7? To Egypt. And then 16 tried to hit Congo. Yeah, and I blockaded him South uh, Africa. So then I broke his into his 3. And then you did get to Halon Dream with an order delay. But, okay, why was that he retreated to Khabarovsk? Because he thought I would go to Japan. You're right, that was it, yeah. He was expecting Japan. I should have gone to Japan. But he took the time to finish in Siberia. I don't now, know why he didn't... If he expected me to hit Japan, then why didn't he try and attack Japan? Uh, I don't know. But anyways, he took Siberia. Now, the advantage of if we had gone to Mongolia instead and to Urkust is that he would not have gotten Siberia. Because he would have been inside Siberia. Yeah. It, so that would going have to Heilongjiang was just not a good move mm -hmm. because it allowed him to expand in Siberia. Yeah. It, yeah, I don't know why I did that in retrospect. Yeah, and it also allowed him a little bit of leeway where he could put guys in Algeria. Yeah, that too. If he had not been able to do that, then I would have been in a little bit of a better position because that mean all I would had left was Egypt. I had a couple guys in Egypt, and then Chad and Nigeria was about to be lost pretty soon. I couldn't really stop that because I didn't have the income. And unfortunately. He played an order priority card the next turn, and mm, that was actually, that was insanely lucky of him. What happened? That last turn. Which one? Nine? Where he eliminated me in Inner Mongolia. Watch. He failed? Then you attacked. Then he, wait, oh yeah, he got you with one. Yeah, but it's not just that. It's also that my one didn't kill a one. Yeah, yeah. My wow. one, uh, there was a 60% chance I'd kill one guy. That didn't happen. And then he also, uh, what is the chance that you'll take a one with a one? Like 12 or one. 16 or something. 17 and Seven. then it'll it changes every now yeah, and then. Yeah. 17 to 18% apparently. <laughs> so uh, and you so you had a sixty percent chance to kill one. You didn't get that. Then he got the seventeen percent chance to kill you. Yeah. Uh, so let's say forty percent times uh, seventeen percent. That's the chance that that'll happen. In AKA other words, about eight percent. Seven seven percent. Yeah. I'd say about a seven percent chance that'll happen. Yeah, he got really lucky there. Well, actually, no, it's even more, it's even less likely than that. Well, no, no, never mind, because he used an order priority card. Okay. Yeah. The order okay. priority card mm. allowed that to be mm -hmm. a guaranteed hit from yeah. inter to Inter-Mongolia. So then I was already down on income, 
in uh and armies in Africa, so I was going to lose there very shortly. Yeah, so we just we had to give up. There was nothing we could do. Mm-hmm. I mean, he would be uh, conquistadors would be able to expand freely in West China and all of Eurasia, really. Yep. Uh, all you could do was sit and try and stop Clifford, and that wasn't going to work for long. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so our mistakes throughout the game were should have chosen Krasnodar instead of Anadir. Perfect. Yeah, we should have been more more consistent with our strategy, for our picking strategy. Yeah, definitely. We decided to go for Anadir, which didn't really make sense, considering really what we wanted to do was not necessarily go for quality picks, per se. We wanted to go for picks that were in the same area where we could help each other. Yeah. And Anadir was way too likely to be chosen mm-hmm. for that east uh, eastern Siberia-Anadir combo. And then after that, it was going to Halon Jing instead of Mongolia. So I think those are really the two main mistakes that we made. Well, no, it was also not hitting Kaparovsk first. Turn. True, yeah, not hitting Kaparovsk that first was... move, and then going to Halon Jing instead of Mongolia. Honestly, I think not hitting Kaparovsk was a bigger mistake True. than either Because if we had, if we had done that, then you know, Halon Jing would never have been an issue. <laughs> yeah, but it's not just that. It it doesn't really make sense why. There's, it's way too likely someone would have East Russia. You have to assume that, and you have to yeah. hit Kaparovsk, because otherwise you're never going to take it, and he'll just be able to destroy you over there. So you've got to take Kaparovsk first move. Mm-hmm. I don't I don't know why we came to a different conclusion. <laughs> oh, well. We just assumed you needed the income. Yeah, but you can't get it fast enough. Mm-hmm. Now, if you had had East Antarctica instead, and I had Krasnodarsk, then, you know, we would have been in fine position. But, oh. Yeah, we probably would have made our decisions differently in that case. Yeah. Oh, well. Yeah. Oh, well. Good game, Clifford and Conquistadors. However, this has knocked us out of the tournament. Unfortunately. Yes. So, good luck. Continuing on. I don't know. I have no idea who's, who else is winning in the tournament. But anyways, on to other 2v2 games. See you guys later.